What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Back with another unboxing video for you guys. I haven't been doing too many unboxings lately, so I want to kind of get back to that and share with you guys a little more uh, perspective on certain releases, a little more in detail um, videos on certain releases from boutique labels especially. So with that being said, today we're going to unbox the Sergio Martino Collection and the True Romance 4K and uh, take a closer look at these two releases. So stay tuned. Alright guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that new intro, by the way. Um, I spent like five minutes doing that, uh, worked really hard on it, so um, I, I just wanted something different, something that wasn't specific to certain films or anything, just uh, horror related. So anyways, uh, before I get rolling, if you guys would be so kind to drop down that description box, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, uh, letterboxd i'm really trying to get more letterbox followers instagram would be great i'm almost at 700 on instagram uh, really trying to get to that thousand mark that really helps get stuff for review from companies as well and bring you guys more content so if you guys would please follow me on there i don't post a whole lot but um it is usually movie related especially in the horror genre so yeah um I don't put the uh, thing on there anymore because I had on there that uh, followed me on uh, Stardust and Stardust doesn't exist anymore, so I got to redo that. Anyways, um, yeah, let's uh, open these up and uh, take a closer look. Actually, let's look at them unopened first. So here's a nice, close, glary look at the art for True, True Romance, of course, starring Christian Slater. Uh, Patricia Arquette, Dennis Hopper, Val Kilmer, Gary Oldman, Brad Pitt, Christopher Walken. Awesome, awesome cast. Awesome movie. I haven't seen this really in many, many years. Uh, so very excited to revisit this. I did get the regular uh, Blu-ray not too long ago. Uh, but now I have this awesome 4K. And comes with the nice J card and everything. Here are your special edition contents. So let's... Uh, Go over those and then we'll <clears throat> take the wrap off of these and look inside. So on here you get a new 4K restorations of both the theatrical and director's cut from the original camera negative by Aero Films. Limited edition packaging with reversible sleeve featuring newly commissioned artwork by Sarah Deck. A 60 page perfect bound collector's booklet featuring new writing on the film by Kim Morgan and Nicholas Clement. A 2008 Maxim oral history featuring interviews with cast and crew and Edgar Wright's 2012 eulogy for Tony Scott. Double-sided poster featuring originally a newly commissioned artwork by Sarah Deck. Six double-sided, um, where am I? <laughs> Post-sized lobby cards, uh, reproductions, 4K, Ultra HD Blu-ray, presentation and Dolby Vision HDR10 compatible of both cuts, original uncompressed stereo audio and DTS HD, master audio 5.1 surround audio, optional English subtitles for the hearing, uh, hard of hearing and uh, deaf, audio commentary by director Tony Scott, audio commentary by writer Quentin Tarantino, audio commentary by stars Christian Slater and Patricia Arquette, audio commentary by film critic Tim Lucas, select scene commentaries by stars Dennis Hopper, Val Kilmer, Brad Pitt, and Michael Rappaport. Brand new select scene audio commentaries by co-stars Saul uh, Rubinek and Bronson Picot. New interview with costume designer Susan Becker. New interview with co-editor Michael Tronic. New interview with co-composers Mark Mancina and John Van uh, Tongeren. New interview with Larry Teller author of Tony Scott, a filmmaker on fire. New interview with Daniel Storm, co-founder of the annual True Romance Fest and owner of the original Cadillac. Deleted scenes with optional uh, commentary by Tony Scott. Alternate ending with optional commentaries by Tony Scott and Quentin Tarantino. Electronic press kit 
features behind the scenes footage and interviews with Tony Scott, Christian Slater, Patricia Arquette, Dennis Hopper, and Gary Oldman. Trailers and TV spots and image galleries. So this thing is just packed, packed with special features. I mean, wow. Uh, all the interviews, tons of different commentaries. Uh, if you guys are a fan of true romance, this is definitely the version to get. Um, again, this is from, uh, shit, what year is this? 1993 and runs 121 minutes. And aspect ratio on here is <clears throat> 239. But uh, here is the side. Uh, let's go that way. And again, we'll open these up here in just a second and take a even closer look. All right, the Sergio Martino collection. Now, I believe these are just repackaged releases of these three films. The only one I had already was Your Vice is a Locked Room and Only I Have the Key. So I did not have the other two and really love this artwork. I think it's absolutely gorgeous artwork on here. And uh, I really love having the boxes from Arrow. They just look a lot nicer on the shelf. They're easier to uh, find certain films when they're in a collection from a director or something like that. And uh, just really wanted this in the collection. So again, nothing new on here. These are all ported over features as far as I know. Uh, I don't even have that with me to compare. Um, and of course, the cases are a little bit thinner than your standard arrow cases because it's in a box. But other than that, everything should be exactly the same. If you guys own these and there's something different, please, by all means, let me know down in the comments. Um, special edition contents are only three films from Sergio Martino, The Case of the Scorpion's Tale, Your Vice is a Locked Room, and Only I Have the Key, and... The suspicious death of a minor these are restored in 2k from the original camera negative high definition blu-ray uh, presentation for all films original uncompressed mono italian and english audio tracks optional english uh, subtitles for italian audio and english subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing for english audio so the only thing that says new on here is newly commissioned artwork which we can tell by you know looking at the box but other than that, everything else, like I said, should be the same. So for the case of the Scorpion's Tale, you have audio commentary with uh, the writer moderated by filmmaker Federico Cadillo. I'm going to really butcher all these names um, just as a heads up in advance. Um, in Italian with English subtitles, under the sign of the Scorpion, an interview with star George Hilton. I got that name. Uh, the Scorpion tells an interview with director Sergio Martino, Jet Set Giallo, uh, an analysis, analysis um, Sergio Martino's films by Mikhail J. Coven, author of La Dos Morte, uh, Venicular Cinema in the Italian Giallo film, The Case of the Screenwriter Autor, a video essay by Troy Hallworth, I do know that name, Author of So Deadly, So Perverse, videos of Italian giallo films, theatrical trailer, image gallery, reversible sleeve, featuring original and newly commissioned artwork by Chris Malbon. I believe a lot of these um, have the same feature with that 50 years on here. So move on to Your Vice is a Locked Room and Only I Have the Key. You have Through the Keyhole, an interview with director Sergio Martino, unveiling the vice, making of retrospective featuring interviews with Martino, Star Edwig Fennec and screenwriter Ernesto Gastaldi. Dolls of Flesh and Blood, uh, The Gialli of Sergio Martino, a visual essay by Michael McKenzie, exploring the director's unique contributions to the giallo genre. <clears throat> the Strange Vice of Miss Finesh. Film historian Justin Harries on your vice actress pro prolific career. Eli Roth on Your Vice and the Genius of Martino. I do know Eli Roth's uh, name. You know, I don't know him personally. But uh, Reversible Sleeve featuring uh, original artwork and uh, the newly commissioned art. So you will have new art on the inside here as well, which we'll get to in just a second. And then uh, sus <laughs> Suspicious Death of a Minor. Suspicious? Audio, <coughs> audio commentary with Troy Hallworth, author of So Deadly, So Perverse, 50 Years of Italian Giallo Films. Uh, Violent uh, Milan, 
or Milan, an interview with uh, co-writer and director Sergio Martino, Reversible Sleeve, featuring original and newly commissioned art. So, yeah, it wouldn't be one of my videos if I couldn't talk correctly, even reading fucking English, right? So, let's open these up and dive into the insides a little bit more. Alright, stick around. Okay, so we have them unboxed. I was going to just cut around uh, like I've been doing lately, but I just said fuck it. I'm just going to take the wrap off because I want to see what's behind the J-Card. And this is an unboxing video, and I hate unboxing videos where they don't actually unbox. So, I show you guys what I want to see out of the video. All right, uh, so... True Romance, this isn't um, as as durable as some of their box sets. This is, seems a little flimsier, but still a decent uh, material on here. Just be forewarned that this will probably get damaged easily if not properly shipped or something like that. So here is your 60-page your booklet. Here is your poster. So you have a double-sided artwork here with the newly commissioned on this side here. And then you have your old school artwork on this side, which I, I think I like this artwork better than the newly commissioned, to be honest. And I always forget that this is a technically a Tarantino film because it is written by Quentin Tarantino. I would be very interested to see how this would have been had it been directed by Tarantino as opposed to Tony Scott. But... It's still a fantastic film, from what I remember. I'm going to definitely have to revisit this here shortly, especially on this 4K. So they said these are double-sided, but your other side is just like this on all of them. So here are your lobby cards for those interested. I'll just go through them quickly. Hopefully there's nothing too inappropriate. But then again, you know, I think I showed a severed penis we're going through the vinegar syndrome titles on a live stream so you know it doesn't get more inappropriate than that all right let's see what we have here this should be original art on here we'll go ahead and roll with that since we have the new commish on the box we will flip this around like we do i'm sure most people probably go with the alternate artwork when you have a slip cover or a slip box if not, then what are you doing with your life? All right. Put that back together. Here is your disc art, by the way. Very, very nice. And it does come in the black 4K case as well. And we already did the poster. Here is your booklet. The back of that. And just images and such from the film with... Uh, you know, notes on the film and everything. Here's Dennis Hopper. Let's see if I can find one with uh, Christopher Walken or something. I mean, can't go wrong with a shot like that, right? She definitely looked better back then than now, but, um, yeah. Anyways, um, well, Christopher Walken's in this shot, but, uh, there you go. It's a nice, thick booklet, like Arrow does. And on the back of the case, you have Elvis Worshipping Comic Book Store employee Clarence Worley is minding his own business at a Sunny Chiba triple bill when Alabama Whitman walks into his life. And from then on, the two are inseparable. Within 24 hours... They are married and on the run after Clarence is forced to kill Alabama's possessive, psychopathic pimp driving a Cadillac across the country from Detroit to Hollywood. The newlyweds plan to sell off a suitcase full of stolen drugs to find a new life for themselves. But little do they suspect that the cops and the mafia are closing in on them. Will they escape and make their dream of happy ending come true? Of a happy ending come true? I promise I can actually read. I was just, uh, I don't know why I was reading that way. That is the back. Stealing, cheating, killing. Who says romance is dead as your tagline? So, there you guys go. There is your true romance 4K. All right, <clears throat> moving on to the Martino collection. I have them all out of the case here. 
and here is your box it is pretty flimsy as you can see it's not like it's even flimsier than that not too impressed with the box itself sorry if anyone from arrow is watching i'm a little disappointed okay um and there could have been a new booklet or something in here as well i mean a lot of people already own these three films so to me they need the option to buy just the box you know buy the box for 10 bucks or something so you have a nice way to display the little sergio collection uh i'm just saying personally i mean Vinegar Syndrome allows you to buy just the slips on like halfway to Black Friday and Black Friday and stuff. Let us buy just the box. If we own the films, why do we need them again? There's no new features on them. There's no point to buy this if you have the three films other than this box with the new art. So, I don't know. Just a little rant, a little suggestion. Uh, again, if anyone from Arrow is watching, which I highly doubt they are. But um, if you guys know anyone that works for Arrow suggest that shit because you know a lot of people would buy just the box a lot of people are going to buy this if they already own the three films just a uh, marketing strategy i don't know again this is just a um like kind of bride of reanimator ish style box but still cool to look at still like the art all right so i already went over the features not gonna do that again Sus i can't say the word suspicious death of a might suspicious uh not gonna go over that again but they do have your new art on the reverse again i don't even know if this is new art or not let me know guys because i, I said i only owned um your vice so this is I'm sorry my ocd is not letting me um move quickly here uh but yeah these are like the 11 millimeter cases not the like 14 they are uh, a lot thinner, as you can tell. That is a uh, sus suspicious death of a minor. All right, your vice. I'm not going to say the whole title. So the reverse are on here, and I I don't even remember um, what the reverse art on mine is of this. I haven't looked at it in quite some time, and it's at my previous um, domain. So here is that reverse art course um actually this is in english on this side this is this is not so um that is in italian i'm assuming all right um and the case of the scorpion's tail now this one i i'd never i've not even heard of i i do know th these two but um this one i'm not um familiar with oh this one actually comes with a postcard come canny at Ar Ar Arborati. Not sure. So Arrow Films now streaming. Uh, start your thir your thirty your thirty free day trial. Yeah, I'm just reading fucking backwards. I'm dyslexic. Sorry. Uh, artwork on here. I gotta I gotta say the reverse art on these is pretty plain and boring. On besides your vice, it's it's about the same, maybe a little bit better. But the other two, uh, yeah. George Hilton. Uh, Coda Scorpion. Sc Coda. Lakota Dello Scorpioni. I guess. I. I, I don't know. But um, I think these two are, are a little bit more boring. Like. I prefer the original arts on them. I may flip them back around. But once they're in, they're protective box you're not going to see them anyways so all right guys uh oh i did not put that back which one was that in it was in uh lakota della scorpioni all right guess it doesn't really matter but all right again pretty flimsy um box but uh i do love the art that that art is amazing so all right, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And um, I guess if you made it the whole way through, uh, your 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 uh, keyword is um, suspicious because I can't say it. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for the love and support you've shown the channel. And um, I hope we continue to grow together and um, reach beyond the fucking stars or something. So, all right. Uh, J card. All right. Get out of here. Go find, watch something, do play outside. I don't know. Peace, love, happiness, all y'all. And, uh, yeah, and thank you to my new Patreon supporter, 24 Anthony Mo. Uh, you're fucking awesome for joining the Patreon. All you patrons are awesome, and all you guys watching are awesome, and, uh, love y'all. All right, peace.